series of explosions are continuing around buildings belongs to supporters of Kyiv's punitive forces in Odessa. A strong explosion went off in Odessa at around 10.30 p.m. on January 4th. The explosion damaged the car and entrance of the Office of Coordination Council of Euromaidan, where people collected aid for the Ukrainian punitive forces fighting in Donbas. All the windows were also damaged. The police said nobody was injured. The activist of Euromaidan, Aliona Balaba, wrote that it was the office which has refused to move to a secured place. And the Kyiv partisans opened full-scale front line in Odessa. Two Russian journalists have been attacked, beaten and robbed during a radical torchlight march in central Kiev. Thousands took to the streets in the Ukrainian capital for the birthday anniversary of radical nationalist World War II leader. The rally was dedicated to Stepan Bandera, an easy collaborator and the Ukraine nationalist movement's leader during World War II. A reporter and a cameraman of live news media outlet were attacked during the march. Unknown people pushed the journalist, she fell and hit her head, her phone was was also stolen, the statement by Life News said. The attack took place in front of Kyiv police, but the law enforcement didn't interfere, reporter Zhanna Karpenka said. International organizations should give proper assessment the Thursday assault on reporters of the Russian channel Live News in Kyiv, Maria Zakharova, the director of the Russian Foreign Ministry Information Department, said on Friday. Would like to hope that in spite of New Year festivities, the international community of journalists, human rights activists and representatives of international organizations supervising freedom of speech will register and, on the top of that, give a proper assessment to an assault on our reporters, she said in Facebook. It was also important for anti-fascist organizations to speak up the occasion too, as the case in hand is bigger than just a dangerous neo-Nazi tendency in the heart of the euro, and it concerns concrete actions that replicate Nazi traditions in form and essence, Zaharova said. The chilling slogans and the flagrant demonstration of nationalist symbol during the neo-Nazi march in Kyiv reminded the Czech president Miloš Zeman of Hitler's Germany. He said something was wrong both with Ukraine and the EU, which didn't condemn it. Zeman was commenting on the appalling scenes which showed thousands of Ukrainian nationalists holding a torchlight procession across the Ukrainian capital on Thursday to commemorate the 106th birthday of Stepan Bandera. The parade itself was organized similar to Nazi torchlight parades where participants Participants shouted the slogans that to the Poles, Jews and Communists without mercy, the Czech Republic's leader told Radio F1 on Sunday. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.